Andy, a one-all draw here at the Shea tonight. What were your thoughts on the game? Uh, tough place to come, isn't it? You know, they're in a, uh, a bit of a run at the moment. Um, and uh, I felt their towels were up at the beginning and uh, we couldn't get to grips with the game a little bit. We was uh, a little bit spread out. I think uh, we was feeling a little bit of fatigue from the, the journeys we've had. Um, and I felt we felt a little bit sorry for ourselves, to be honest. Um, uh, a few guys looking at me as if, like, it's tough out here, Gaffer. Well, guess what? It's hard getting in the playoffs and it's hard staying in there. So that was my message at half time, um, in no uncertain terms. And I thought second half, there was only one team going to win it. That said, uh, Migoli made a really good save. Um, so I, I've got to be happy with the point. I'm happy we didn't get beat um, at this stage. Um, but we have to keep going. It's still in our hands. And we've got to two of the biggest games probably in the club's history. And uh, like you say, when that goal went in, it, the tails got up even more on, on our side of things and, and we continued to attack the game. Yeah, I thought we, I thought we was going to nick it, to be honest. Um, I, I felt we was on the front foot, we was pushing for the win. Um, but it just didn't fall for us, did it? You know, in that last bit, we had a goal chalked off, uh, offside, I think it was. Um, but I've got to take the positives. This, this team don't know when they're beat, do they? They just keep going. Um, and they get their second wind and, 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 and then we sort of really... We really sort of took the game to them and closed the gaps uh, in between the, the, the thirds, and that was much better from us. Um, so I, I'm, I'm happy, you know. I, I want to make sure it's always in our hands. Nothing's changed. As I think I said six months ago, if I'm going into the last game of the season and it's in our hands, I'll take that. Um, I'd like it done before then if I could, but it is what it is. You know, we're, we're in amongst it, and I think we should be very proud of this bunch of players because I, I am extremely proud of them. And 15th for Michael Cheek of the season, but actually the build-up to the goal was, was really good from Top Lodge and Show Me. Yeah, there was some good play. I thought we had some good moments. We had some good overloads in wide areas. We wasn't doing that first half. They was dictating in the wide areas to us. Uh, and we, we, was, we, we, we sort of done what I didn't want us to do. We turned the first half into a bit of a basketball match. It was like you attack, we attack, and then we kept giving it back to them and they attacked. Um, so the second half, we, 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 we closed the gaps. We, we got higher up the pitch. And we was a bit braver with our passing, um, and and I felt, you know, we 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 we, we was we was better, um, and I, and like I say, the move for the goal was a good move. As you said a moment ago, a lot of travelling in the past week, and four points from the two games. How would you reflect on both of them as a whole? Well, look, I think I think I'm pretty sure. In fact, I know there was a lot of people that did give us a prayer of getting in the playoffs uh, a little while ago, um, and we're not in there yet, so I'm not getting carried away, but this group of boys don't know when they're beat and they and they give it everything and to go to Gateshead who are third in the league table of form apparently uh, and then to come here what, five wins out of six and get four points I think in any normal circumstances that's brilliant um, and I think that's us not beating in sixes am I correct in saying that so so yeah we've got a lot to be a lot to be pleased about and a lot to be happy about although if you go to that dressing room there's a, there's a bit, lot of disappointment in it that we didn't win. Uh, 114 away fans on Saturday, 57, exactly half tonight, but they were brilliant, weren't they? It's a proper journey for them, isn't it? You know what I mean? Uh, they were brilliant, yeah, they always are. I mean, lovely, lovely. I, I, I hope they don't get bored of me thanking them. It's massive for them, and, and like, they give up their whole day. I mean, we left at 10 o'clock this morning, so they couldn't have left long behind us. I, I don't think anyone's got any idea of, you know, how long a journey this is up here for the fans, for us. And, 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 and listen, uh, I think the expense in the climate we're in, these people are putting their hands in their pockets. So fair play to them. I can't thank them enough. And I really, 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 really hope that my team can give them something to smile about come the end of the season because uh, I feel that they really deserve it. We've had some great crowds at Hayes Lane recently in some great support. We're going to need that on Saturday. It's a huge game. Yeah, I've got no doubt people will turn out for a Saturday. Uh, it's the last game home. Well, it might be the last home game for the season. Um, and if there's one thing to say about the Bromley public, uh, when we need them, they turn up. And I, and I love that about them. You know, we needed them at Wembley, they turn up. We needed them at York, they turn up. We needed them in the last game of the season when I was here against Notts County, they turn up. So I know they'll turn up. I know we'll have a bumper crowd there right behind the boys. And I'm really looking forward uh, to a very tough game, by the way, against a very good team. But uh, they're all tough, so uh, we have to keep going. Andy, thanks for your time. Thank you.